welcome back to Domain Cards. Uh, we got Sean here with me again. Got fortunate he came up for an event and uh, we found a little bit of time to quick get a rip and review in, uh, one that we're really excited about. Um, I think Sean ended up buying these. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they dropped online. It was a Dutch auction and uh, I think we got them at 170 per box. 180, 186. Yeah, yeah and, and they did end up going down to 125 for about a minute. So, um, kind of the thing that we've noticed is we've watched some online and uh, talked to some other people that opened them and i think that these should have sold for a lot more and you're starting to see them on the resale for 230 250 dollars if you guys want to look to grab some uh, check your local hobby shop also but uh, these have been very cool to watch um, love the design that we've seen so far so we're very excited to open these um, low numbered, some decent autos, some autos that you don't normally see. Yeah, I think the, the classic piece of it is cool because I think there's a lot of us that uh, collected when we were kids and, and you get the nostalgia from it, right? But this, I think part of the draw for us and for those of you that we're in the same boat is it looks like the cards we opened when we were little, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's like uh, they got that nice hollow foil to it, which adds mm -hmm. the new touch, but the players are a lot of old touch. So you get a lot of legends in here. You get the rookies, you get some players that you don't normally get in sets, um, but you do get two autographs and one of them will be numbered 50 or less. Again, that is on average. Panini <clears throat> may always surprise us, but um, we're expecting two autos, 150 or less. I think three numbered cards and then one base card. So um, a lot of good stuff in here. And again, at that price point, I mean, you look at what you're spending on some hobby boxes for less uh, on average guarantees. Um, I think this is a pretty cool box, and we're really excited to get into it. Um, we're each just going to open a box, just a rip and review. Um, you know, for a lot of these, I'll be, like you said, with the Classics part, we're opening some for some personal collection cards, pulling some players that uh, that we'd be really excited about. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I, I want the, the Favre Driver dual auto. That'd be pretty Yeah, sweet. we looked at the checklist, and the Favre Driver, um, it is the kind of the, the case hit, I guess you could say, for this is a dual autograph with legends so we did see a marshall falk kurt warner pulled um, i know there's a joe montana jerry rice which i would not be mad about getting um i think it was was it aikman and uh, emmett smith i think so i and think it was brian dawkins and ray lewis i think was one yeah so there's there's some cool dual autos but obviously with being from wisconsin the the driver farve would be a super cool pull right um so yeah, we're just going to get right into it and do a little review for you guys. All right, here we go with box one. You know, with Marino on the front, I wouldn't be mad about a Marino autograph either. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Maybe there's a Super Bowl coming out. Oh, wait. <laughs> cool box. Yeah. And it has been about three years, I've heard, since they did classics, and they used to be um, rookies in their college jerseys. That was always one of the big flack on this product. Um, so glad they fixed that. Yeah, they are cool looking. First time I've seen them in person. <laughs> All right, so you got an Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, no, I think I see a redemption in there. Uh Alan Robinson. So this one should be that. one of one. One of one, Alan oh, Robinson. That's cool. I mean, again, it's not the, yeah. the player you'd love to get a one of one of, but it is a one of one. Timeless wow. black. You can see one of one. Yeah, I saw the black. I was like, I think that's a one of one. <laughs> did you know Alan had a sizable growth spurt as a junior in high school? <laughs> I did not know that. That is, All right. that is exciting. All right, and then here's our gold. Oh, James Robinson. So it's the Robinson box. So this, I think, should be oh, 50. That's 60. James was also a basketball star in high school. All right, and then we have an Ezekiel Elliott. Should be non-numbered. Oh, maybe there's not a redemption. That's cool. Never mind. Just kidding. Oof, Cornell Powell. Is this a base? Yeah. 
So I got a Trask. Kyle Trask. Right. I like Kyle. I PC Kyle Trask. I figure anybody who sits behind Brady for any period of time has a chance. Cornell Powell. I don't even think he's on a roster. And then our, this should be the low numbered auto here. Number 152, Zach Wilson. All right. 15 of 15. Oh. You know, it's a rookie quarterback, and if he wins a couple championships in the in the CFL, the value could go up on this. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's, it's a like rookie quarterback. Number two overall pick. Rid 15 out of 15. What do they say? eBay one of one. I hate in? that so much. I was so hoping you weren't going to say that. <laughs> I don't so understand. Yeah, there we go. Zach Wilson, number two. Was he the second pick? Yeah, second, second, pick. Overall. second overall pick, autograph, 15 out of 15. So he could definitely turn things around. So overall, uh, again, the first auto is terrible. But a uh, couple of rookie quarterbacks, What's rookie quarterback. Number, um, oh, 10 of 20. Yeah, I, I went uh, eBay nuts last week and bought a bunch of Kyle Trask autographs and rookies. So lottery ticket. All right. Well, uh, it was fun for sure. Next up, Greg. Oh, so, uh, yeah. You know, in the end, I, I hope, but if this was, if we did decide to do a box battle, that that actually, that was a pretty good box. Um, you know, hopefully you guys see it. I mean, the design is just so cool. Um, you know, I think uh, that the foil looks great. Oh. I pack them all. You need some help there, lady fingers. All right. So my base is two two Atwell. Rookie base. Pull from the back. Oh, we did get a no name. So these should be numbered out of 10. Seven out of 10. A no name, AJ Brown. So that is cool. And pull another from the back. Emmett Smith, see this is what we're talking about. Like, that's just cool. I mean, we, we grew up watching him break the record and that gold looks super cool and that was going to be 24 out of 60. so emmett smith um and really cool picture the gold is sharp like just you know and usually a lot of times gold's out of 10 so being out of 60 is interesting but it is mega sharp all right and a Chase Young, and these are timeless tributes, as you can see behind, and the purple is 10 out of 35, so short print is the the theme here. Um, you get a lot of really cool numbered cards. That was three numbered, right? So this next one should be the auto... Go. Brandon Ayuk. Saw the 49 Yeah, it was like Trey Lance. So Brandon Ayuk, and I believe that this is the base unnumbered. So our numbered out of 50 or less should be... Jalen Waddle. Jalen yeah. Waddle, all right. But Panini got us. Panini got us. Find two autographs, including one numbered to 50 or less. Mm. Our two autos, neither numbered. We got Panini'd. So Jalen Waddle's a good card, but that should have been 50 or less. All right. I so win. We will do a quick, uh, quick recap. All right. So that was our opening. Um, very, very cool cards. And in person, I mean... Just way cooler. Love the design. Love the the hollow look to them. Um, what do you think? Yeah, it was great. And I think it's kind of cool. They I mean, made a little bit of a shtick that they're, everything is or a lot of it's numbered, but it's still low numbered cards. Like the one of one. I don't care who it is. One of one is is cool. 
And then we got one of the second overall pick uh, autograph out of, what was it, 15? Yeah. Um, I thought it was great. Yeah, I mean, overall, um, other than getting panini on the Jalen Waddle because the second auto is supposed to be the low numbered. On I mean, average. On average, um, that would have been nice 50 or less because um, Waddle's playing very well. But it's still a Waddle auto. Um, and again, for the price point, you know, being you know, as low as 125, if you were able to be lucky enough to grab it up to the resale now of 230 to 250. Low numbered, great looking cards, um, two autos. Uh, it's definitely a buy from us. I mean, oh, yeah. we're gonna be looking to get more for sure. Yeah. Uh, very, very fun to open. So in the comments, please tell us what you think. Tell us if you got any, what big hits did you get? Um, and then if you wanna see more content like this, please hit like and subscribe. We'd love to see you again. Um, and we'll have some fun stuff going on. And again, a few videos back. Uh, we're going to leave it up for about another week still. Um, please vote in the comments if you want to see us crack those Brady packs or not. Um, we'll be doing that live soon as it looks like most people are voting open, probably because it's not their money. So um, if that trend continues, you know, we will notify everyone when we're going to go live and crack those open and go the ultimate goat Brady hunting. So uh, with that, um, again, please comment below any hits that you got on this. If you're going to be looking to buy it, uh, we're very interested in this product. It's it's a fun one. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. See you, everyone.